चैप्टर सिक्स मेटीरियल्स अराउंड अस क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट साइंस एक्टिविटी सिक्स पॉइंट वन लेट एस आइडेंटिफाई मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू सी अराउंड एंड ऑल्सो राइट द नेम्स ऑफ द मेटीरियल्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ इन टेबल सिक्स पॉइंट वन टेबल सिक्स पॉइंट वन आइडेंटिफाई मेटीरियल्स कॉलम वन आई ऑब्जर्व कॉलम टू मेटीरियल्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ आंसर फर्स्ट बुक्स मेड ऑफ पेपर second table made of wood third tumbler made of glass fourth notebook made of paper fifth pen made of plastic metal and ink sixth pencil made of wood and carbon that is graphite seventh scale made of plastic eighth sharpener made of plastic and metal ninth chair made of wood tenth shirt made of cloth and plastic that is buttons Activity 6.4. Let us explore. Figure 6.3 illustrates a variety of balls that are of the same size but made up of different materials. Take each ball and drop it from a fixed height. Note the height to which the ball bounces and record it in Table 6.2. Identify the ball that achieved the highest bounce. First, tennis ball. Second, cricket ball. Third, hand exercise ball. Table 6.2. Bouncing levels of the ball. कॉलम वन बॉल कॉलम टू बाउंसिस हाई मीडियम और लो फर्स्ट टेनिस बॉल बाउंस हाई सेकेंड क्रिकेट बॉल बाउंस लो थर्ड हैंड एक्सरसाइज बॉल बाउंस मीडियम एक्टिविटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव लेट एस ऑब्जर्व होल्ड द ऑब्जेक्ट्स गिवन इन टेबल सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री विद योर हैंड्स फील वेदर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर हार्ड और सॉफ्ट फाइंड आउट द मटीरियल्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ एंटर योर ऑब्जर्वेशन इन टेबल सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री Table 6.3 hard or soft objects and the materials they are made up of column 1 object column 2 hard or soft column 3 materials first brick hard material baked clay next water bottle hard material plastic third pillow soft material cloth and cotton fourth tumbler hard material glass fifth table hard material wood sixth sweater soft material wool seventh spoon hard material steel eighth pen hard material plastic metal and ink ninth hand exercise ball soft material rubber activity 6.6 let us classify Classify the following objects as transparent, translucent or opaque in table 6.4. First glass tumbler, second butter paper, third eraser, fourth frosted glass, fifth wooden board, sixth window glass. Table 6.4 classification of objects. Column 1 transparent glass tumbler, window glass. Column 2 translucent butter paper, frosted glass. column 3 opaque eraser wooden board let us enhance our learning question 1 visit your kitchen and observe how your parents have organized various edibles can you suggest a better sorting method write it in your notebook answer in the kitchen organizing edibles can be improved by grouping similar items together for example grains and pulses in one section spices in another section snacks and ready to eat items in a separate section oils and condiments in another use transparent containers for easy identification and label each container for quick access question 2 unscramble the letters column 1 and match with their properties column 2 column 1 column 2 first matter occupy space and has mass second soluble d mixes completely in water third transparent a objects can be seen clearly through it fourth luster c shiny surface question 3 the containers which are used to store materials in shops and at home are usually transparent give your reasons for this answer transparent containers are used because they allow easy identification of the contents without opening the container This makes it convenient to find and access items quickly. Question four: State whether the statements given below are true (t) or false (f) 
correct the false statements. First, wood is translucent while glass is opaque. So friends, this is false and the correct is wood is opaque while glass is transparent. Second, aluminium foil has luster while an eraser does not. So this is true. Third, sugar dissolves in water whereas sawdust does not. So this is also true. Next, an apple is a matter because it occupies no space and has mass. So friends, this is false. An apple is a matter because it occupies space and has mass. So it both have space and mass. Question 5. We see chairs made up of various materials such as wood, iron, plastic, bamboo, cement and stones. Following are some desirable properties of materials which can be used to make chairs. Which materials used to make chairs fulfill these properties the most? First, hardness does not bend or shake on sitting even after long use. Answer wood, iron. Second, lightweight, easy to lift or to take from one place to another. Answer plastic, bamboo. Third, does not feel very cold when sitting during winters. Answer wood, bamboo. Fourth, can be cleaned regularly and made to look new even after long use. Answer plastic, iron. Question 6. You need to have containers for collection of first food waste, second broken glass and third waste paper. Which materials will you choose for containers of these types of waste? What properties of materials do you need to think of? Answer first food waste, plastic or metal containers that are durable and easy to clean. Second, broken glass, metal or hard plastic containers that are sturdy and puncture resistant. Third, waste paper, lightweight plastic or cardboard containers that are easy to handle and inexpensive. Seven, air is all around us but does not hinder us from seeing each other. Whereas if a wooden door comes in between, we cannot see each other. It is because air is transparent and the wooden door is opaque. Choose the most appropriate option. Answer is 1. Transparent, opaque. Question 8. Imagine you have two mysterious materials X and Y. When you try to press material X, it feels rigid and does not change its shape easily. On the other hand, material Y easily changes its shape when you press it. Now, when you mix both materials in water, only material X dissolves completely while material Y remains unchanged. What can materials X and Y be? Can you identify whether material X is hard or soft? What about material Y? Justify your answer. Answer: Material X could be salt, hard and soluble in water. Material Y could be rubber, soft and insoluble in water. Material X is hard because it does not change shape easily and dissolves in water. Material Y is soft because it changes shape easily and does not dissolve in water. Question 9. First, who am I? Identify me on the basis of the given properties. A. I have luster. Answer metal. B. I can be easily compressed. Answer gas. C. I am hard and soluble in water. Answer salt. D. You cannot see clearly through me. Answer opaque object. E. I have mass and volume but you cannot see me. Answer A. Second, make your own who am I? Answer. I am a liquid. I am commonly used in cooking. I am made from crushed seeds. I do not mix well with water. I am used to fry food. Who am I? Answer. Oil. Question 10. You are provided with the following materials Vinegar, honey, mustard oil, water, glucose and wheat flour Make any two pairs of materials where one material is soluble in the other Now, make two pairs of materials where one material remains insoluble in the other material Answer Soluble pairs Vinegar and water Glucose and water Insoluble pairs Mustard oil and water Wheat flour and water Friends, we have completed all the question answers from this chapter. If you find the video useful, kindly like it and share it with your friends.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग